Hey folks, how y'all doing today? I'm gonna be doing a video on a product a buddy of mine sent me and I just want to shout out to this great company. It's called Archangel, Archangel Dynamics. And here is their symbol, their logo. Archangel Dynamics. And they, they specialize in tactical, teaching about farms and all kind of stuff. I go on your website, but they sent me an IFAC, I F A K, kit. It, it stands for Individual First Aid Kit. And as being a Marine and a Boilermaker by trade, we always learn first aid, CPR, the whole nine yards. Um, just enough, we know enough just to get ourselves in trouble. But um, learn a lot in the Marine Corps, our first aid, uh, CPR, CPR, the whole nine yards. But yeah, great company, great company. And I'm gonna show you what we got here, okay? Okay, Archangel, great, great company. And I appreciate the, what they did. They sent me this IFAC kit, individual first aid kit. Good stuff, good stuff. And riding my ATV and hunting, hunting, fishing, ride, riding around, any that kind of stuff. It's real essential to have a first aid kit. Not yourself, your friend you got with you, or your somebody else you got riding with you, it's real important. All right, here you go, y'all. I uh, keep in my, in my bag, my saddle bag right here. Or my rack bag, luggage bag. Here she is, right here. This is an awesome kit. It's essential to have. Uh, you got your scissors. I'll take the proper name of them here shortly. But the kit consists of, got nice, nice good uh, zippers and everything on it. It's got, everything in there i mean from bandages to this uh let's see here four inch hemorrhage control bandage others uh, i guess an antibiotic of some type i think some Straw wound bandages, just everything you can ever imagine is in here. And I'll go over the list with you what is in here. I mean, y'all can see all the stuff's in here. I mean, it's got everything you'd ever need. I mean, if you're fishing uh, on a carry on a, carry on a boat, um, just a good thing. Another thing too for first aid, a good tool to have. I carry a Leatherman Wave. That multi-tool is a must. When you're hunting or fishing or anything. Um, like I say, this puppy is a lifesaver. Get everything on it. I always carry a Leatherman weight on me. Or a Leatherman. Gerber, all of them are good. All right, and I'll show you what the package consists of. So y'all bear with me, all right? But this is it. I'll zip that puppy up and uh, put it back in my bag, but awesome. Great stuff, thanks, thanks Archangel. All right. This perfect in my bag right here. Zip that puppy up. Safety first, y'all. Always be prepared for the unprepared. Yeah, yeah. I'll show you the contents in the package. What all, what all along comes with it. So hey, y'all. Great, great, great night and a half. Be back here in a minute. All right. Okay, folks. This is the website right here. It's Archangel um, Dynamics. Tactical gear, firearms, training, medical. 
medical training, emergency preparedness. Awesome, awesome stuff. Um, but they teach classes, uh, firearms training, tactical gear, all kind of cool stuff. And over here, right there, that is what I have. They sent me an IFAC kit. IFAC individual first aid um, kit. And also sent me a patch. And as you see, here's the patch. All right. Good stuff, y'all. Good stuff. Great company. Great company. So, anyway, I'll show you what the uh, what we got on here on our Archangel Dynamics Advanced IFAC kit. It says right here, uh, Archangel Dynamics Advanced IFAC includes chest decompression needle. I guess that's in case you get a puncture in your lung and or a bullet shot. Hopefully that never happens, but you just never know. Anything can happen in an accident. Uh, but here it is. They sent me one out here to try out. I hope, hopefully I don't have to ever try it out, but I have it. Um, I got the, they sent me the olive drab. That's what I, I, I chose. OD green. Being a Marine, I just love that color. But right here, it says the Archangel Dynax IFAC. Advanced configuration. This kit is designed to comply with TCCC guidelines on the management of preventable battlefield death. This pouch contains everything that you need to treat yourself or you have a teammate treat you for injuries sustained in a tactical environment. This kit is designed to treat casually suffering from uncontrollable extremely extremity and hemorrhage airway compromise and prevent worsening of tension um and for and the thorax hope i pronounced that right um these kits are available in od green uh county tan black multi-cam at this time um the spouts is designed to clamshell open, to clamshell open for easy and un, unimpended access to contents. Zippered pulls are upgraded um, to red 550 cord with cord ends for rapid identification of your I, IFAC on your gear. All right. And also, I'll scroll down here. Okay. Contents. All right, that's what we wanted to see. Contents. One mole, mole pat, pouch in the color of your choice, see, see above. Two pair of OD green nitrile gloves. One roll of one inch medical tape. Tape, uh, one EMT shears. Uh, in the hemorrhage control, one, one contains one generation seven NAR cat tourniquet. One four inch Israel is Israeli emergency bandage, one uh, four inch lash wrap, and two contains two Z pack compressor bandage compressed packaging gauze. And, and this is one Z pack gauze will be replaced with a 10 foot Z folded CLX gauze as an optional upgrade. And then right here. Man, here's a tough word again. Y'all can pronounce it for me. Airway tension um, on thorax. Uh, I guess it's airway passage. Rush nasal. Great day is a tough word. Nasal pronaral jaw airway. Size 28 FR with lubricant. One, uh, one hollow chest seal. Non vented. Uh, occlusive dressing contains. Two seals to treat entrance and exit wounds, and one NAR ARS chest decompression needle, 3.25 inch, 14 gauge. Woo, doggy! Hope I never have to use that, but it's there. But uh, yeah, y'all, this is some good stuff here. Um, glad they sent it to me. I'd rather be with, with safety without it. That's that's what it is, and uh, like I say, good stuff.
great company and you always can't be, be prepared enough so anyway we are going to wrap this video up but first of all we're going to i'll show you the website again all right home okay there it is there it is archangel dynamics llc medical kits metal supplies survival um preparedness training farm training medical training advanced dynamic um uh, Arch archangel dynamic gear yeah y'all uh, good stuff um so hey yeah give me a shout out i'll put a link below on my my video and give me a shout out many thanks i appreciate it y'all have a good one all right y'all well i just want to wrap this video up and now we get to see my ugly face <laughs> but all right let's see here what we got all right um well that wraps it up y'all for the video I want to say thank y'all for watching. Please subscribe. Got any questions or comments? Hey, give Archangel Dynamics LLC a shout out. Uh, or, you know, if you need any gear or anything like that, hey, it's good to go. Hey, well, many thanks for watching. Y'all take care. God bless and simplify. Please subscribe. All right, now. Y'all take it easy. Simplify. All right, now. Bye bye. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing today? We're going to be doing a fishing tutorial on how to catch bass with live bait in winter. I made several movies, uh, excuse me, videos years ago, and I used sort of like a Carolina rig. But I used about a three quarter ounce egg sinker, and I put a bead on it, and it tied a surgeon's knot. Or you could use a swivel, but I like the surgeon's knot because it didn't get tangled up in the stumps and all that stuff. And I've had a lot of comments. I, I, this, is, this is cool. I've had a lot of comments over the years of people uh, saying, oh, you're using too big a tackle, this and that. But you got to use fairly heavy tackle and line because I'm, I'm, I was fishing at stump beds. Um, just imagine you're going like on a forest, all right, and you got stumps that are that tall, and that tall on up three and four foot high or just a trees like an underwater forest of trees in that lake i was fishing in and i was fishing from the bank because over the years i fish fish it with by boat and i could i could see the stump beds name with my depth my, my, humming, my hummingbird depth finder so and i'm fishing from the bank just relaxing fish don't have to get the boat out all that junk sometimes you're just like hey well, i'll take the boat when i can when i can cast to the to the fishing spot i mean a lot of times you don't have that choice but a small lake or a pond, you can do that in, or or creeks, whatever, however way we want to fish. But you can catch several types of fishes where you can catch all all game fish, flathead catfish. Um, okay, they like live bait. Blue cats, they like live bait also. Um, you can use eel, night crawlers, salamanders, frogs if you want. It's just a good way to fish. I mean. You can use it for saltwater fishing. You can catch anything from red drum to uh, huge pompano to, you know, bluefish. You can get, you catch all kind of game fish that way. Um, redfish, really good for or red drum, really good for red drum. Live bait fishing. You can use a shrimp instead of using a uh, uh, like a live menhaden, anything like that, or a live pilcher. Uh, but you catch kings on it. You just have to rig it up different, make the, the float go higher. If you're surf fishing, you can catch kings that way. So anyway, let me get. The, uh, I'll show you the video right now, and then I'll show you how to make it the rigs up the, Car the Carolina or the KBUSMC rig. I call it the KBUSMC rig. So but anyway, here we go. I'm gonna take you back. And I'm gonna show you the video. All right. I made this video nine years ago. But you need heavy tackle to get them out of that brush, and you will lose a lot of you will use a lot of baits and stuff over the years. So here we go. All right, let me get this uh, to big angle. 
All right, here we go. Here's the video. I was getting ready to hit the play button, but and this year's ago before I started movie editing. I made a part one, part two, part three, all that good stuff. All right, here we go. And I got my fish, my rods on the rod holders. And that's just the way I was fishing. And I, I, got a lot, I like a good hit hook set because bass got a tough mouth. And, and I got like 140,000 views on this video. That's not much compared to a lot of people. I would click on that ad, but it's my own ad. Don't like to click on it. But I and I like to leave the rod. Yeah, see that's nice bass. See that cork on there? Nice bass. Right there. That's the rig I'm using. That's the rig I'm using. Right there. See that cork? I put it about six inches to a foot away. Um, it must be ten years ago. I've been on YouTube now for since December two thousand um, six, but of course the, the hooks in there. But I put that circle on there, the hook, the cork on there. The reason being, it keeps the it keeps the line up off the bottom. So. You know what I'm saying, it, it, and it swims around and around them stump, stumps and all that stuff. Oh my gosh, it just, and that live bait, it keeps the live bait suspended off the bottom. So it, it really helps out a lot. I'm, I'm going to show you how to make that rig up. And the type of hooks I use and how to tie it. Okay. And it took me a little while to get that bait out of there, but I mean... This is this is like the end of February. Water's cold, probably around in uh, 45 degrees. So the bass are moving kind of slow. See the pretty colors on the fish, and they're full of eggs that time of year, right before the spawn. So anyway, he's he's down in there good. That uh, hook is, and I have to reach down in the gills to get them out. All right. We fast forward this puppy a little bit. Not where I wanted to go. Alright. But anyway, and that's you see the you see the there she is. I'm using rock hole. That's probably about two and a half pounder. I'm using, um, like I said, and I got the lines just sitting there. And this is before I knew anything about movie editing, so this is all real time. All real time. So when I got a bite, I would hit the record, and I would go down there and fetch it. Now somebody's calling me on the cell phone. So anyway, <clears throat> let's go on to see what we got here. Fast forward that. And see, I got my, my my live bait on there. Hello. Hello. And I am talking on the phone. It's my sister calling me. You see how that? No. It's about two foot of a leader on there. And you see where I cast it with the live bait and all that kind of stuff. Overnight, I mean. Okay. Anyway. And it's based on fishing, y'all. And a good seven foot rod, live bait rod, I call them. I'm flipping, sort of like a Carolina lizard dragger type rod. Right, let's get another video. 